now let's start with operations on strings and languages the first operation is concatenation operation now if a and b are two languages then we define concatenation of a and b which is denoted as a dot b or simply a b and the definition is a b equal to x y such that x belongs to a and y belongs to b so we take one string x from a we take one string y from b we join them and the resultant string will be string of ab and remember that this is and condition so you must get one string from a one string from b and then you can join them now let's try to understand this using example alphabet contains a and b language a contains these two strings language b contains these two strings now let's concat let's calculate concatenation of a and b so we take x equal to ab y equal to ba so we get ab ba this is ab is x ba is y we get ab ba for x equal to ab y equal to aba we get ab aba now for x equal to aab y equal to ba we get aab ba and finally x equal to aab y equal to aba we get aab aba so we have calculated the strings and we also should confirm that there is no repetition of the string because of the calculation if there is repetition then we have to remove that so in this case there is no repetition now in this case number of strings in a is 2 number of strings in b is 2 and there are four strings in ab now in concatenation operation a dot b the sequence matters you have to take x from a and y from b for concatenation of a dot b you cannot take x from b and y from a now if you consider these two languages a contains these two strings b contains a4 and a6 so a2 a4 gives a6 a2 a6 gives a8 a power 8 A4, A4 gives A power 8, but it is already there. The string is repeated. A4, A6 gives A10. So in this case, language A contains two strings, language B contains two strings, but language AB it contains three strings because one string is repeated. So if there are m string, m number of strings in A. n number of strings in b the number of strings in concatenation of a and b or ab is less than or equal to m into n so this is the formula you should understand so let's solve some problems for better understanding so this is language a this is the language b so for a dot b ab dot epsilon gives ab ab dot a gives ab a A A B dot epsilon gives A A B, and A A B dot A gives A A B A. So here you should note that A B dot epsilon gives A B itself. So if you concatenate any string W with epsilon, you get W. Also epsilon dot W, the result is string W itself. now when we calculate b dot a now we should take x from b and y from a so epsilon dot ab is ab epsilon dot aab is aab a dot ab is aab but the string is repeating and then a dot aab is aab so here a dot b contains four strings b dot a contains three strings so 
a dot b is not equal to b dot a in this case concatenation operation is not commutative now let's concatenate only strings so u is a b v is b a so u v is a b b a a b b a v u is b a a b b a a b so x equal to a b y equal to epsilon so a b dot epsilon is a b then epsilon dot b a is b a so this is how we concatenate string with a language so a b dot a b gives a b a b and then a b dot b a gives a b b a so this is example of concatenating string with a language which gives this language so this is a special case which you should understand so here language a contains two strings and language b is empty set now for this case to concatenate a dot b you should refer the definition so a dot b contains strings x y such that x belongs to a and y belongs to b there is and condition so you must get something x as a and y as b then you join them here for x you can take ab or aab but for y you don't have any options language b is empty so you cannot generate any string xy such that x is from a and y is from b because b is empty set you don't have anything for y for this reason when b is empty set a dot b is also empty set similarly if a is empty set and b contains these two strings so when we calculate a dot b here for x we don't have any option for y we have b b and ab so you cannot generate any string xy such that x is from a and y is from b because for x you don't have anything in a a is empty language so here also a dot b is empty language and even if you consider a equal to phi b equal to phi then also a dot b is phi so for any language a a dot phi is equal to phi also phi dot a is equal to phi do not ignore the notes you will understand some points easily and clearly if you go through the notes do not ignore the notes you will understand some points easily and clearly if you go through the notes so we can concatenate more than two strings also so here u v w it will be a b b a b b a b b a b b here u is a b v is epsilon w is b b so the output will be u v w will be a b b b now we have string u equal to a b and language a equal to phi here a is a language which is empty set so here also a b dot phi is phi or empty set now in this example language a contains these two strings language b contains these two strings so a2 b3 gives a5 a2 a6 gives a8 a3 a3 gives a6 and a3 a6 gives a9 if we compute b dot a then a3 a2 it gives a power 5 a3 a3 gives a power 6 a6 a2 gives a power 
एंड ए सिक्स ए थ्री गिवस ए पावर नाइन बट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व ए डॉट बी एंड बी डॉट ए देन हियर वी हैव सेम स्ट्रिंग्स ए फाइव ए फाइव ए एट ए एट ए सिक्स ए सिक्स एंड ए नाइन ए नाइन सो इन दिस केस ए डॉट बी इज इक्वल टू बी डॉट ए एंड इन सम प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल वी सॉ दैट ए डॉट बी वॉज नॉट इक्वल टू बी डॉट ए सो इन कॉन्केटिनेशन ऑपरेशन ए डॉट बी मे और मे नॉट बी इक्वल टू बी डॉट ए 